Hi guys and welcome back to Ascend of a Learning Labs. We're going to learn about more math today and um, if you're new to the Ascend of a Learning Labs then welcome. My name is Mrs. Lopez. I also teach along with Miss C as well and also if you're returning to the Ascend of a Learning Labs welcome and let's get started. Let me share my screen with you real quick here so we can get started. Today we're going to be learning about ordering negative numbers from least to greatest. Ordering numbers from least to greatest is, is simple in, in positive numbers, but we're gonna learn about doing it in negative numbers today. If you missed our previous lesson about negative numbers in the introduction to negative numbers, then go back to um, the previous lesson and, and um, get acquainted with negative numbers. What is a negative number? We're going to go over again today what are negative numbers, um, but so you get more practice, just go to the previous lesson as well if you have time. So our agenda today is we're going to get our materials, so we need a pencil and paper. So what I want you to do is pause the video for two minutes to grab your um, materials. Okay, welcome back. We also have a joke of the day. So why do plants hate math? If you said it because it gives them square roots, then you're right. And our objectives today are, I can order negative numbers, decimals included, from least to greatest. And I can locate a negative number on a number line. I want you to repeat the objectives after me and then we'll get started. So I can order negative numbers, decimals included, from least to greatest. And our second objective is I can locate a negative number on a number line. Okay, so we're gonna do some review and vocabulary. So when we do um, order numbers from least to greatest, so that's putting numbers in order from the lowest number to the biggest number, or from the smallest number to the largest number. This just is a way to see on a number line or um, just putting numbers in order. This will be from the least to the greatest. There's other ways you can put in order, but today we're going to be doing from least to greatest. We also have a negative number and that negative number just means it's any number less than zero. And then we have number line. You may have already seen this before. This may be something new to you, but we're going to be using number lines today as well. So I want to put these numbers in order. We have negative 20, negative 30, negative 25, negative 10, and negative five. And I want to put them in order from least to greatest. So I see that 30, negative 30 is the biggest number I see here. And then I also see the smallest number I see here is negative 5. But it is very different when you have the numbers in negative. Because a negative number just means that the numbers to the left of 0, which is negative, just means that the sm numbers are going smaller. So we're trying to find the number least to greatest. So negative 30 is actually the least number, the smallest number in these numbers. And negative five is the greatest number or the biggest number. Let's put this in terms of money. Let's say I had negative $30 in my bank account or I had negative $5 in my bank account. Well, negative 30 is a lot more money than that I owe to the bank. I would rather have negative $5 to owe to the bank. So negative 30 is less than negative five. So I would rather have negative $5 in my bank account. Let's put this on a number line and see the difference. So we're gonna start off with zero. We're gonna write our numbers down. We have negative five is our greatest number in this situation and negative 30 is our least number. So we know that negative 30 is the smallest number that we have. So then you have to just fill it in from there. So we have negative five as the biggest number we have. So we have negative 10 is the second 
biggest number, negative 20 is also the middle number here. This is still smaller than negative 10 and negative 25 is smaller than 20. And so this is ordering the numbers from least to greatest. 30 being the least amount of money or the money that I owe, this is the smaller number as well as negative five is the bigger number in negative numbers because anything to the left of zero, the numbers are getting smaller. So I'm ordering it from least to greatest. So negative 30 is the least and negative five is the greatest number. So now let's try this together and let's put these numbers in order. We have negative 90, negative 150, negative 125, negative 100, and negative 50. And I want to put these numbers in order from least to greatest. So pause the video now, pick what, you, what number you think is the greatest number and pick what number you think is the least number or the smallest number. Okay, so now that we've chosen our numbers, I'm going to show you what I chose. I chose negative 150 as being the smallest number because it is the furthest away from zero to the left. And I chose negative 50 to be my biggest number because it is closer to zero than negative 50, negative 150. So if I had negative $150 in my account or I had negative $50, I know that negative 150 is less than negative 50, so I would rather have negative $50 in my account than owing the bank $150. It seems like a lot and a lot of money, but I would rather owe $50 than owe $150. So now I want you to, on your paper, draw out your number, um, draw out your number line and do this yourself. Order these numbers in order and then um, we'll come back. So pause the video now, make your number line and order the numbers in order. We know we have the um, greatest number at negative 50 and we know we have the smallest number at negative 150. So pause the video and put these numbers in order. Okay, now that you put your numbers in order, I'm going to show you how I put the numbers in order. This time, I did not use the number line because I wanted to try to put these numbers in order without having that visual re representation. So I know that my greatest number in this situation is negative 50 and my smallest number or my least amount of number is 100, negative 150. So now I just have to fill it in between those numbers. So we know that negative 90 is still closer to zero than negative 150. We know that negative 100 is still closer to zero than negative 150. And negative 125 is still closer to zero than negative 150. This should be the order that you have put the numbers in order. From negative 150, negative 125, negative 100, negative 90, and negative 50. This is going from the least to the greatest. So we already know that numbers further to the right on the number line are greater for positives. So example, we have five is greater than two because five is further to the right than two on the number line. Let's show the number line for example. We fill in our numbers and that is correct. Five is further to the right than number two, so five is going to be a greater number than two is. Now, this means that all the numbers further to the right on the number line are the greater number. This is also true for both positive and negative numbers. All the numbers to the right, even if you had negative three and five, five is still further to the right on the number line, so five is going to be our greatest number and three is going to be our least or our smallest number. So with that being said, and it's true for both positive and negative numbers, what if I had this example? Negative two 
is greater than negative 5 because negative 2 is further to the right than negative 5 on the number line. So let's do our number line and see if that is true. So we have our number line. We're going to write out our numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and negative 5. This is right. Negative 2 is greater than negative 5 because 2 is further to the right on the number line. That means that negative 5 is further to the left while negative 2 is further to the right. This means that this number is greater because it is further to the right on the number line. So let's put these decimals in order. It's a little bit different. Um, the decimal is breaking up a whole number into parts. So now we just want to find the greatest amount and the least amount. This is kind of the same thing. You just are putting a whole number into different parts. So I chose the least number as being zero, negative 0 0.9 and my greatest number being negative 0 0.1. I'm going to do my number line and we're going to test that theory. So we're going to start out with writing 0 and writing our negative whole number as negative 1 and we're going to um, fill in the number line. So we have negative 0 0.1 which is also our greatest number and negative 0 0.9 is also our smallest number. If you've noticed Zero, negative 0 0.9 is closer to a whole number. You're just missing that 0 0.1, negative 0 0.1 to make it that negative whole number. Then we're going to fill it in um, every decimal after that. So we have negative 0 0.2, negative 0 0.3, negative 0 0.4, and so on until we fill in the number line to the whole number. So now I want to put these numbers in order. So we have negative 0 0.1 and our least or smallest number is negative 0 0.9. And I want to put these numbers that I have up here in order. If I look at the number line, the number line will actually help me put these numbers in order. So for going backwards, we'll have negative 0 0.9. Do we have negative 0 0.8? That's correct. So we're going to write that down. We have negative 0 0.5. That's correct that is still um, going in order. And then we have negative 0 0.3 and then negative 0 0.1. So all of these numbers are in order from least to greatest. Negative 0 0.1 is greater because it is further to the right on the number line. So now I want you to try these. We're gonna try them together on our own. I want you to find the smallest number and the biggest number, and then um, we'll put these numbers in order. So pause the video and find your smallest and your greatest number. Okay, now welcome back. So now that we've found our smallest number and our greatest number, we can draw our number line and fill it in. So we're gonna start off with negative one this is actually going to be our greatest number that we have here and our negative 1.8. We're going to fill in the rest of the number line so it'll help us put these numbers in order. So we're going to start off with our negative 1 and our negative 1.8. That is our smallest number and then we're going to fill in the rest to get to our greatest number. So we have negative 1.8 that's right here on the number line. Then we keep going down. We don't have a negative 1.7, but we do have a negative 1.6. So we're gonna write that down as our next number. We don't have a negative 1.5, but we do have a negative 1.4. So that is our next number. We don't have a negative 1.3, but we have a negative 1.2. So that is also our next number. So this number, these numbers are ordered in the order from least to greatest because one is further to the right on the number line than negative 1.8. So I want you to try these numbers on your own. 
I did put some extra, a little bit more challenging numbers in here because I have also added some positive numbers to these um, equations. So pause your video for five to 10 minutes to try these on your own and I want you to order them from least to greatest. And we'll come back and go over the answers. Okay, welcome back. So now that we have um, filled in our answers, these are our answers that we should have gotten. This is the only problem that I did. No, I put this problem and this problem with positive numbers. So you should have gotten numbers like this. So pause the video to, to check and see if you've gotten these answers. Okay, so if you didn't get something like this, um, I didn't write out the number lines for each of these problems, but I would suggest to write out a number line. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, um, but this, the number line will help you with the visual representation of how to put these numbers in order, okay? So again, we have our objectives. We can order negative numbers, including decimals, from least to greatest, and we can locate a negative number on a number line. We have some games that you can um, practice more with negative numbers. Um, we have number balls and also dog integers. So the, these are two um, sources that you can practice. These are in your learning guides, and um, you can try these sources out for yourself to practice more about negative numbers. So I hope you guys um, understood how to order negative numbers from least to greatest. Um, if you don't, then use your visual representations until you get the hang of it. Using your number line will help you also process those numbers from least to greatest. I hope you guys had fun and I hope you guys come back to our next lessons. We have a couple more lessons for um, the negative numbers this week, but I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys later.